Hi everybody from a beautiful day in a life and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna be talking about songs. As you might get, I mean as you might remember if you watched the previous video, um, we talked about the emotional part of active listening, I mean songs, um, and why they are matters. We talked about that and in this video, we're going to be talking about the songs that help me to improve my English. So, but before that, I want to say that I want to thank to someone. I mean, I want to thank to everyone who comments to my videos. And some of the videos are comments are really special and really like um, make my day and encourage me to make the videos more and more. So... Yesterday, I saw a comment um, from someone who lives in Egypt. Um, this is the comment. And I want to read that um, Egypt plus love, I mean heart and Turkey. You're an ambitious girl. I learned a lot from you. May Allah bless you. I mean, thank you for that comment. Um, this really makes me feel like I achieved something that I really wanted to do, reaching more people and inspiring more people. Thank you. You made my day. You made, I mean, actually you are the courage. You are the reason of that today I'm sitting here and making this video. You give me lots of energy. Thank you to you and thank you all of you who watches my videos and, um, who makes my day. Okay. Thank you so much. So. Um, we are at the, we are end of the section, so let's talk about, um, songs that help me to improve my English. Again, um, I have my dark blue notebook, you know, I always use this was when I give tips or talk about something. Um, I have around, um, no, I have 13 songs that I'm going to recommend to you and let's see what do I have for you. Okay, so our first song also before I start, I also tell you that this is this video is going to be long. So if you want to reach the songs directly, just go and check the um, description box um, below and you can reach the songs there directly. Okay, this is going to be long and songs but at the same time the story that lay in the background that why do I choose those songs um, or what do I have feeling for those songs okay I'm gonna be talking about th those as well so it's gonna be long and if you want to reach the songs directly go and check the description box okay so let's see what do I have well our first song is um, from Jason Mraz lucky okay this song um when i was in high school our english teacher told us that we're, we're going to have a new activity um this week so you guys for me um I'm, i will prepare a song a lyric okay a pdf something like that a pdf that i'm going to delete some words and class my friends are going to listen to the song and try to fill the blank um, places in the lyric. And this is going to be a listening activity. So this song is really important and special for me. From that time, even before I started college, I worked with songs to improve my English. So I would say that in college, I was, I was like uh, a conscious about what am I doing? I was studying English, so that's fine. But before that, I was doing it unconsciously and I can say that um, clearly, apparently, I was really interested of learning English even when I was in high school, primary school, middle school. I was always interested about it and I'm going to tell you about it also uh, in the next songs, why I was interested, okay? I have a great reason. So our first song is Jason Mraz from... Um, and the song name is Lucky, okay? Our second is um, from Craig David, Seven Days. This song is really, um, really has a special place in my heart. The melody of the song is really unique. And he using, he's singing just so clear way. 
um, and makes you feel really energized. At the same time, he's slow. I mean, slow, but at the same time, you can feel like so energized, okay? Listen to that song and you're going to understand what am I meaning? What do I mean, okay? Our third song from, again, from the Craig David, um, Walking Away. This is a sad song, but also um, it means a lot. The lyric, um, the music is really meaningful. The words, they're really meaningful, slow and clear. You can also enjoy your time by listening to it, okay? Okay, this one is really special um, from the group One Republic, Counting Stars. Well, when I was in college, um, our main course teacher, um, when we were in a break, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes break, he just, uh, we were just, or the whole class was like in a mood like sleepy. So he just opened that song to make us feel like, you know, getting more energized for getting ready for the class, next class. So he opened that, but... It was so fast, I didn't understand anything, but the melody was good. So when I go home, it was like I was repeating the melody over and over again. And I, I wanted to just feel, feeling that I want to sing that. I'm, I want to sing. I want to just understand that song. So I opened and it was at that moment, it was hard to find the lyric. I don't understand why. Um, so I, I opened, I listened with that lyric, but... It was hard to understand because so fast. I didn't even catch a word, okay? So, at least um, I looked for the lyric and I found it, luckily. So, I just slowed down the speed of the video from the settings. You know, YouTube has a really special, I mean, great um, settings, options for you guys, for us. Um, I listened to the song four times. 10 times just to get what he's saying okay just try to realize the um, words one by one and I did and this is the first song in college uh, in my conscious learning English story conscious learning English beginning this is the first song I memorized and I still every day it's like been six years and I still listen that song and I really enjoy listening it you can also use it. Um, it's going to be a really awesome tool to train your ears. Okay. We have, again, another group. For, uh, um, name is Blue. The song name is All Rise. This is also a good one. Slow, but at the same time, meaningful. Okay. This one is also good. I recommend it to you to listen. Okay, that one. All Immerse. Um... I think he's British and he just uh, won, I, I don't know, a song competition. Uh, I don't know about that too much. And his song is Troublemaker. I mean, this song is like, um, like this song just one day I was so upset about learning English and made my day. And after that, I just memorized it. And I was thinking that guy was American. But then I learned that I just consumed a British accent a little bit. I think so it was shocking for me to realize that he's not American because I was thinking he's American okay troublemaker it's also a good one uh, seven is Michael bubble bubble something like that um, feeling good okay feeling I mean that song is like slow but at the, I mean this song is my favorite best of all time okay it's my favorite and I can see, like, when I sing that song, I feel like I'm really energized and, like, capable of doing anything. Because um, the way he sings is, like, I, I don't want to, like, go too much detail, but it's really um, make you feel energized. It's really good one. Feeling good. Yeah, birds flying high. You know, how am I feeling? You know, the lyrics come going like that. Um, the eighth one, the eighth, char from Charlie Puth, How Long? This one also good. Our um, ninth, Katy Perry, Roar. 
this song is also good. Um, she's an awesome singer. I think the whole world accept that. And I, I again, I'm still, I'm saying again, confessing that. Yeah, I also accept that she is the best, one of the best singer. Um, okay. The tenth one is from Sia Chip Thrills. This one is also good. Um, you can have lots of fun when you listen. The words, everything is so clear. I mean, in this list, all songs are clear. Some of them fast, some of them slow, but all of them are really good. They help me a lot, and I think that they will help you all as well. So, um, 11th is from Jordan Fisher, True Love. I think this is a di from, I mean, I saw this song from a Disney movie, um, there was a Tewing girl, I don't remember the name because it was so long ago, but I'm really loyal to the things, to the tools, to the everything that I'm using. So uh, I took it into my list. Um, the guy, the voice of him is really like, is going to take you into the song and you're going to feel that I think um, like he was in a pain and when he sang that song, I mean, I don't know. It's just going to make you feel like that. Okay. Our um, 12th one is from the Tanner Patrick, When We Were Young. This song is from Adele. Um, but Tanner, I mean, this is a cover, per, cover version of the song from the Tanner Patrick. But I think um, the way, I mean, I like more the cover version other than the original one. Um, Tanner Patrick is like a young singer that also he's going to take you into the um, song. He has a voice that can make you feel that the pain um, when he sings, okay? Like, not the pain, but the feeling, okay? Our last one. I put it into the last because um, this has a special place in my heart and I'm going to tell you why I always interested of learning English. Okay, so from Errol Levine, Complicated. This song is the first song, one of the first songs, I can say, one of the first songs that I memorized that seriously to learn English. Okay, so this song is recommended me by my aunt, okay, maternally, maternal. Um, so, I mean, she's my... Um, aunt that near to my age and she's a translator so for that reason I was I mean she's a person that um, our communication is so unique and it really has a special place in my heart it's I mean I cannot describe with words so she's an English person because she's a translator so she's an English uh, person and I always feel like she's my role model so for that reason I, in some way, unconsciously, English was always in my case. So one day I told her that I want to learn, and I was just um, in high school, okay? It, my, it was my first year in high school, so I told her, I want to um, learn English, so can you help me? She said, of course, I can help you, sure. I said, I want to pronounce the words like Americans, like native. So she told me, that's possible, you can do it. So this is the first song, complicated from Errol Levine, that she recommended me recommend me to work on, study on to improve my accent, my pronunciation. I can say that English was always in my life because I because the person I I was seeing as my role model, and I really appreciate that, and that's an honor actually. To have person to have someone in my life like that and i really should thank her um to be a, such an inspiration in my life uh, maybe she's going to watch this video and i'm going to i'm, I'm saying say her hi this is like um today this is the result of um being a role model to me okay anyways um so this is pretty much the songs i can recommend to you the songs that help me hope those songs are going to help you as well again if you like the video do not forget to give a thumbs up if you don't like you can also give thumbs down 
um, do not forget to get notified um, so subscribe um, and yeah that's pretty much all I can say about that and I am at the end of my words if you have any question please let me know um, you can follow me also in my other social um, other platforms like Instagram um, Facebook yeah I'm at the end of my words. See you in the next video. Bye for now.